Now, Brian, obviously, you know, one of the, 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 the big stories that, you know, people want to talk about every single day, we could do four hours of it a day uh, on the show, is about Manny Machado. And Hal Steinbrenner said at the owners' meetings yesterday that he will want you to sit down with Machado and ask him about the comments about hustling. Last time we asked you, he was not a free agent yet because he belonged to the Dodgers. So uh, how, what, what would be able to come up in that discussion that you would have with Manny that would override what he said before and the way he's acted before you know i don't want to put the cart ahead of the horse uh, obviously we're in free agency as well as the trade market you know which is the winter program for all clubs and and so you know there'll be a lot of due diligence that's necessary whether it's a small acquisition or a large acquisition and um you know it, it, you're certainly going to want to assess how people will fit financially how they'll mm -hmm. fit personality-wise and and whether that commitment level that you're going to make small or large is, is it going to be a, you know if you're going to it's you're placing bets and uh, and the bet you place is it, is it going to be a benefit to to you and your fans and and uh you know those are the things we have to deal with if you knew that he was just not going to hustle that that's the player that he was going to be if he signed with the new york yankees would his talent compensate for it would you be okay with that you know i i don't I don't think it's probably productive for me to telegraph, you know, some of those, you know, by answering questions like that, you know, on this specific player or any player that happens to be in the, in the marketplace. You know, uh, I think uh, if we if we acquire guys, I'll I'll be in a position to, to to be dissected inside and out on on what the process was and why and how we think they fit and if it's controversial, well, which I've had some of those in my past too of acquisition wise, that I can speak to those. But bottom line we wanna we wanna put together the best team we possibly can. We got a lot of good guys already here in place and we're looking well, to add some more to the mix. Well let me let me rephrase the question. Is hustling important to you? I would say that hustling is, you know, always a prerequisite a prerequisite. It, it's not something that uh, uh, you know but I think sometimes, you know, I know we dealt with this on Robbie Cano where, or Soriano when they came out of the box. Those are the two guys I remember because I've been here now for as long as I have. And then I remember that there would be a lot of, uh, you know, uh, noise wrapped around those players because the perception that they weren't, they didn't care because of the perception that there wasn't lack of hustle. And, and in some cases, some of it was an instinctual reaction to what was a home run turned out to be a single because it was a ground uh, a ball off the wall that Sorano hit and or, or turned into instead of a double it was a single because he pimped it and thought it was a homer and it wasn't something he was trying to do it was just something instinctively reacted to and but would get buried by it and you know we would go through the process of I'm trying to un, uh, unlock that, but that did not make him a bad person or a bad player. It just made some that was in some cases part of the DNA, and and uh, and so you deal with that type of conversation several times, both internally and externally, when you're exposed to it. But um, you know, I'm not you know I'm not in a position to talk to Manny Machado. Uh, you know, I don't know the the person. Uh, I've seen the player from afar do a lot of, uh, you know, amazing things and, you know, he's in, the, in a good position in, as a free agent to, to capitalize the current career he's had. And, uh, you know, whether that takes him to the Bronx or somewhere else remains to be seen. But, but uh, you know, I'd hate to you know, try him in public, obviously. Uh, you know, that's not, you know, that's not something I want to participate in. Uh, you know, if we obviously play on it and, and, and if we secure him when the dust settles and be in a better position to address some of those issues, I guess.